guys, Barney back with another Pepe update here. There you can see we pulled back down to uh, support down here at uh, 0 0.00000 15.504. Okay, you can see this was previous resistance right here. Okay, we have it has flipped that into support now. Okay, it's come back to there. All right, I have a uh, article to show you guys real quick, and then I'll jump into this coin. But if I could ask you to please hit the like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that so much. But since here, Pepe peaks after Binance listing, the latest price moves in crypto markets in context for May 8th, 2023. Um, goes down through to say Pepe's rally has run out of steam since Binance, the world's leading crypto exchange by trading volume, listed the frog theme crypto on Friday at uh, 1600 UTC time. The token traded at around 0 0.000022 at press time, having set a record high of, we're just going to say 431, about 40 minutes after Binance listed the token. Data from charting platform TradingView show the volume of news around Pepe peaked with the Binance listing and has since materially declined. Crypto services provider Matrix Ports uh, Marcus Thielen said in a note to clients, the price of Pepe appears to follow this new cycle and has broken the uptrend, per Coindesk's uh, spokesperson. Profit taking by early investors likely catalyzed a sharp pullback in Pepe. All right, so if we go back to this chart, guys, I've been telling you about uh, the uh, bearish divergence uh, forming on that thing, especially on the four hour here. Let me bring up my other RSI. So I can show you that. Oop, I apologize. Let me get out of there. Here we go. And we'll show you that uh, bearish divergence that we had here. Okay. Right here, you had higher price. You had this high here, then you had a higher price. Okay. On, the, on here, you had a higher high than a lower high. Okay. So you had bearish divergence forming here. Okay. That should have been your first indicator that this thing was going to see a major pullback all right I, I put that out uh two days ago all right so if we go through this thing it looks like it could get a bounce here especially in the short term all right not financial advice at all but the rsis are reset on it and uh looks like they are heading up now you can see uh if we uh, that's on the four hour on the one hour uh, it's it's uh, maybe a quarter of the way up on the 12 hour it's just about reset the RSI, which means we are in the oversold area. I'm not sure where to look. Right down there is where we're talking about. Okay, let's take a look at the eight hour. Okay, the eight hour is in oversold area too. All right, so this thing could get a bounce. Um, you could get a bounce out of here. Who knows where it could go? All right, and let's look at the daily. I want to show you that it has had, you know. They talked about that declining volume. You can clearly see it there, you know. The thing is uh, definitely, but it looks like there's still a lot of people in the market here, you know, according to the stats on trading view. You know, there was a lot of buyers back here when this thing first started to take off and could possibly be a lot of people out there still holding their bags, okay? Don't, uh, please don't be the last one holding, all right? Now, if we go through here, this thing has come back with a Fibonacci it has pulled back oh, let's move it do it like that there we go pull it down on the bottom eh, right, right between the 702 and the 786 right on right on that support line we were talking about okay now if you do get a bounce out of this thing and it looks like it could bounce okay um, keep a really good eye on that 702 level you know if you draw your charts out you know, because a lot of times, you know, if this thing is ABC and in here, especially on the day, on the daily, you'll get this run down. Okay, come up to the 702, get rejected, and roll over. All right, not saying that's what's what's going to happen, but a lot of times when you have these big run ups like that, you have an ABC correction. Now, could this thing have another leg in it? It could for sure. You know, if this is a five wave Elliott wave up and it hasn't violated anything. It has not come down into the price range if this is wave one, okay? If we put a trend-based FIB on this thing, go from the low to the high to the retrace, all right, put this FIB on there, okay? 
you know, if this ends up being five waves, okay, it's a, nobody knows for sure, it's a meme coin, okay, you'd have one, two, three, your fourth wave pullback, and you could, you know, the time will tell if we have a fifth wave come in on this thing, all right, just uh, tread very, very, very carefully, like I said, if you do your own charts, watch out for that 702 level if we get up there, okay, because that, that is a very familiar spot for an ABC to come in or rejection to happen, okay? Anywhere up in, uh, let me put a box there, anywhere up in this box area, you want to keep an eye on price because that, uh, like I said, that is a very familiar area to get rejected from. But, all right, thank you so much, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe, and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks.